this house was built in 1935, which was kind of the middle part of the Art Deco movement. So that was something that was important to us to be reflective in the look of the kitchen. This kitchen wasn't originally where it's located. It was originally at the side of the house. And when we did the renovations, we wanted to make the kitchen and dining room as large as possible. So by putting the kitchen in the front, we gained a, a very large living room, dining room. The very first thing we did was to get our core inspiration. And for this, we looked at luxury ocean liners from the 1930s. This was perfect because those uh, vessels would have had small, efficient kitchens with everything tucked away and there would have been a minimum of movement between appliances. So this was perfect from a functional standpoint, but also from an aesthetic point of view. For these projects, I always start with the plans and elevations. We laid out the major appliances and we wanted to be able to have two people work comfortably side by side, my husband and I. We wanted to have clean, open surfaces. So with that in mind, we had on one side all the vertical elements like the fridge, the pull-out pantry and the wall ovens, thereby giving a vertical line to one side, but also then giving ample counter space opposite and a more horizontal point of view. The Europeans design a smaller footprint for their appliances, so that was perfect. They weren't going to overwhelm our small kitchen. And we also hid them behind panels so that the fridge, the pantry, the dishwasher, all are invisible. We maximized and had the upper cabinets on the opposite side of the tall elements. We ran the cabinets to the underside of the ceiling, which gave visually a very beautiful line, but also gave us the maximum storage. The three materials in the kitchen are cherry, unlacquered brass, and marble. And with the cherry, I think I was attracted to the richness of the finish that we were able to achieve. There's a small grain with cherry, also, that there's a silky kind of quality to it, which has a furniture finish to it. We had the finish hand rubbed, which also gave the hand of the craftsman. And then to complement this, we combined that with unlacquered brass. We framed each cherry cabinet with the brass, was very clean, and then also acted as the door poles because they're hidden behind the brass. The marble was selected because I love the drama that's created because there's a big contrast between the dark cabinets and the light marble, so immediately, big drama. I couldn't have a space without some display, I think that's kind of in my nature. There was one special area by the window which I allowed to have open storage and that was an opportunity for me for displaying my artwork, vintage objects that I've collected and family glassware that I wanted to see on a daily basis. There's a great story about the light fixture. It's from Venice. And on one trip, a friend of ours told us about a lady outside of Venice who had a lighting warehouse. So we got a train out to see her and I was in heaven. Honestly, it was like a lighting graveyard because there was light fixtures in this huge field. And we brought this piece back and had our wonderful electrician, Tony, assemble it for us. I think it's really important for people to have things in their spaces that have a story behind them, have meaning. Um, it's much different than buying something from a catalog or from a store um, when you've got a story behind it. For any space, but especially for small space, you can never plan too much. And one thing that we did, which might be a little bit quirky, and that is that once we finished the plans and elevations, we mocked this kitchen up full scale in cardboard. It may seem a little bit overkill, but it really allowed us to walk through scenarios like bringing home lots of groceries, making breakfast together, and really kind of sealed how functional the kitchen was gonna be. And I happily discovered after we designed this that I think that this kitchen is more functional than our previous kitchen, which was probably four times the size. Thank you.